Ladies and gentlemen, I am Jimbo the Fuzzy, and welcome back to Sumire Civilization 5. One thing I would like to mention before we get started. Um, I have mentioned before that I save a new game every episode. Which came an issue with Stellaris because they only have 30 save games. For any given, um, save, for any given galaxy, you can only have 30 save games. But, if you look here, these are Civilization... Civilization V saves its games from lowest at the top to high... Uh, in this case, alphabetical order, going from lowest to highest. Or, rather, this is actually chronological, with most recent being at the bottom. But if you go to load a game... You have it sorted by most recently played, uh, last modified. Normally, uh, you can also sort by name, so it does out. Al save game is alphabetical, but you don't have a choice in that. It sorts it alphabetically, but the load game menu lets you choose whether you want to sort it by last modified or name. W one of those weird little things. It seems to make no sense. Right, let's get a one mill going. Of our swordsmen. Destroy the barbarian encampment for some gold. And that didn't that did get us to be friends with Singapore. So do they give us um, nothing. Yeah, m mercantile city saints just get extra luxury resources. So we didn't get anything off that joy. All right, Vancouver's a little happier. Salvador's three citizens. India is no longer the ally of Malacca. And now we get to choose a social policy. Do we rush for legalism, which starts getting us more culture? And then monarchy, which gives us more gold? Or do we finish off piety, which all the AI is doing right now? Which... I can't really blame them. It seems like a good idea. <laughs> and religious tolerance isn't a bad thing. So I'm thinking doing religious tolerance wouldn't be bad. Uh, this also makes holy sites provide plus three culture. And what are holy sites? I will explain those when we get to them. Theocracy... Temples increase city's gold output by 25%. Holy sites were plus their gold. And this really boosts holy sites. A lot. Um, tradition greatly increases rate of border expansion. Plus their culture. Yeah, it's like, do we get oligarchy? Or do we get to the Reformation belief or theocracy? And I'm leaning towards theocracy just to staunch our massive hemorrhaging of gold right now. And we get theocracy and then after theocracy, well, then we get these markets in seven turns. Well, this market in Rio de Janeiro in seven turns. We should stop losing money. <laughs> Even though Sao Paulo isn't giving me any gold. Zero gold, because it's got nothing... Well, I could have it go work the spices. Someone go work the spices, but... That really hurts its growth rate at this point.
Although, border growth, that's worth it. You know, no. Reassign them. I want one person there. And yeah, that'll work otherwise. Ugh. Being the production over here from the horses is really hurting. Oh well. Deal with what you can. Um. But yes, the temples. Gain theocracy. More gold. And that would help. <laughs> I, I'm repeating myself, I know. But Brazil is a very gold-heavy generation civilization. So that by itself is some reason to go theocracy. So... Although I do want legalism to get more culture growth. Let's go for theocracy. We need the money. Or do I want to rush for a reformation belief because everybody else already has one? There's a good question. All the religions in the world. Judaism does not have one. Islam has one. Catholicism has one. Buddhism has one. One more religion can be founded. Um... Sorry, I was looking at cultures. Ah, uh, culture. Um, only two more religions can actually get a Reformation belief. Besides us. Mandate of Heaven will be helpful. Oligarchy will also save us. Oligarchy will let us save money. And that's actually a really, really good thing. Oligarchy will fix our gold problems right now. And how will they fix our gold problems, you ask? Very good question. And the answer is if we park our workers inside our cities. Because workers actually count as units just like military units do. So you can park a worker and a military unit in a city together. And once this worker over here gets done, we can park it in Salvador. And this archer... Our park in Rio de Janeiro. There we go. Minus two gold. We're now saving two gold a turn just off that. The other bonus is that cities with a garrison get more ranged combat strength. So... That was a really long turn. Sometimes those happen. Alright. Which... Oh, hey, 
another barbarian encampment. Is that is on planes? Okay. I just changed my I just changed my plans. We are going to be losing gold for a while. <laughs> this worker can come in here. Really? I thought workers did count as. We only have three military units. And this says we have seven units total. Two of which do not require maintenance. Okay. Do workers not get that bonus? I have no idea. But now I want this archer to start getting some experience points. And the best spot to do that from is going to be right here. So start moving you over. And you can come there. You can come here. Yeah, and I'm scouting the edge of the continent while I can. This may be an island up here, or maybe or maybe an entire other continent. I don't know. Our scout's still moving. Salvador still hasn't converted to our religion, although it's got a follower now. And Rio de Janeiro has five followers of our pantheon and one follower of our religion. Everyone else, only one follower still. Although, it'd be nice to flip Mozenkani. Alright. I'm going to move into these woods. And here. And that's odd. What is a Mayan warrior doing way over here? Help those barbarians kill it. I'm gonna have you sleep. I'm gonna come up here, and that has... Yeah, that's a coast tile. You can tell that this tile right here shroud that's shrouded is a coast, partly because I can peek under the edge right where my mouse cursor is, which is right above the three hammers for this mine. So you can peek right there, or you can also look at the uh, shape of the coastline. That'll tell you it's coastal. Which means Vancouver is the only other spot that might. Coastal. Worth throwing gold for... No, I don't even have enough gold. Although if you're really good at building units, you can start gifting them to city-states. Which... That gets you influence. Uh, 16 turns until border growth. Fine. Next turn. Gandhi has pikemen. Vancouver is targeted a nearby encamp- Vancouver wants me to kill this encampment I'm about to go kill. Awesome. Uh, you come here. You come to right here. And I'm wondering why that's still shrouded. I don't see jungle hills in between. 
Uh, probably just... Well, it's probably the fact that there is jungle in between. They're not connected, but the only tile they're not connected on is a mountain tile, which is pointless. Uh, Budapest. How am I doing on science? Leader has four. The leader is probably Gandhi. Just because of how much population he has right now. Um. Rio de Janeiro. Yeah, you're focused on growing. That's fine. Though I would like a little more production from you. Though it's not essential. That's within my borders now, so I can go build a lumber mill there. Good to go. The other hand... Nah. Actually... You know what? You can come over here and build the lumber mill. Because you're not doing anything else right now. I can use all my workers to improve Rio de Janeiro. Pakal has completed the Great Mosque. Yeah. Pakal is getting wonder heavy. Instrumental or mechanical science is the noblest and, above all the others, the most useful. All right, then. Engineering done. And he's done. Uh, you come right here. You're moving over here, so you come down here. I'm actually starting to run out of tiles to improve. Well. One thing I do not like about civilization in general, is how it's balanced. And I say that because Luke Arson's investors and losing Grass on Monaco. I know I'm losing my Grass on Monaco. Culture 350... Phyrexis is not very good at balancing. 231. Who is 230? <sighs> yeah. Phyrexis isn't exactly the best at balancing difficulty. Um. Oh, right there. And their balancing on Civilization V was pretty terrible. The way they actually balanced it was that the AI... Okay. Trade overview. Trade available. What do I have that's worth gold? Rio de Janeiro to Monaco is the most valuable. Although if I'm willing to sacrifice half of gold, half of gold, sent to Mozankani for science. Um. Yeah. 
India has one tech that I don't know. And I have one tech that India doesn't know. Alright. So I am ahead of Mozinkani. I would like... I'm ahead of Pocatello, the Shoshone. I'm more or less tied with India. Which explains why they're in the medieval era. Okay. Um, I want to go to Monaco. I got plus 25% gold from being next to a river. It's like, yeah, that'd be good, but Monaco. That plus... How much gold is that? 4.6? Yeah. That's your half a gold per turn. Really useful to us right now. When we're, um running long when we're going to be bankrupt in nine turns. I think I'm going to move. I'm actually going to take the swordsman and put him back in the city. Um, I'm almost no longer the ally of Monaco. That's fine. They want a road and a great musician. I'm not going to have the great musician for quite a while. And Bucharest has a public works project and needs gold. I'm going to park my swordsman in Sao Paulo. Put him there. No, if you... That does synergize with this second um cult the second social policy from culture on the right military cast each city with a garrison increases local city happiness by one and culture by two so you have plus one happiness and plus two culture and if you also have oligarchy that unit doesn't cost anything and it's making the city better so, that's pretty good overall. And I want... Move to right here. And... I guess I want to move within range right away. At least I hope that's a good idea. All right. Uh, I want one more turn. And the reason I want one more turn is just so I can put this archer in position to snipe that encampment and I will know it. I'll remember it for next time. All right. You... Right there, Spearman. You can start the lumber mill. You come across this river and start building a farm there. You... I am not going to win the science with Budapest. I'm not going to get the natural wonder right now. Um, optics allows embarkation. And theoretically, I could go get optics to allow my units to embark, so I could go explore this and maybe find a natural wonder up there, but... No. Move my scout right here. 
Yeah, I know. Budapest is gonna get upset. I don't care. And this swordsman can come to right here. And... Yeah, I'm gonna remove this swordsman. Or not remove, but at least bring him back to the city. Because upkeep is terrible. We really... In eight turns, and we are completely bankrupt at this rate. So, uh, Rio de Janeiro is about to get a market, and that will help. And that even has a merchant slot, so we can stick somebody in it and generate more gold and more great merchant points. So, that's good, but at the same time, we're getting kind of low here, and I would rather not be. The good news is, once we get machinery, we are not in, we're not going to have this problem anymore. I think it's about time to build a library in Sao Paulo, actually. I'm going to queue that up. And yes, gold. I know. But... Once we get machinery, I am then gonna basically beeline for acoustics. And... The reason I'm gonna beeline for acoustics is to get the culture bonus from the Brazilwood camps. After acoustics, I don't know where I'm going to go. I'm probably going to go pick up metal casting for the production boost. I may also get somewhere down here. I may get the printing press. Uh, Globe Theater would be good. Hmm. Of course, that requires chivalry, and that requires a lot of text, actually. But we're getting to the point where we kind of need to start looking at what we're going to do to meet the rest of the world. And with that, well, like I said, we're at the end of the episode. And Budapest still only has one follower. Darn. Well, once someone else flips... And Sal Salvador might be the first one to flip. It probably will be. Um, that's probably going to have to get up to three followers total for that to happen. Then everything starts getting a lot better. Because then Vancouver start. Or... I'm going to just shut up because, A, you've all heard it before. Wait, is that getting one, two... No, it's not based on the number of cities within range. Hmm. I don't know. We're getting close to Great Profit, too. Another one. Anyway, I'll, uh... Yeah, this episode's over. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.